Hey, what's going on everybody? I am just going to be talking about tool designs, actually handle designs. And I wanted to, in my opinion, want to go over some of the most comfortable tool handles I've used. And some of the ones are going to be A1 tools, Ultra Dent tools, uh, Blem tools. And those are my top three just right there. So I'll go over it and then give you some ideas on if you like one brand of a handle, uh, you still have a solution on how you could actually um, custom design it or uh, use it on another tool that you, that you want to do. So let me show you what I mean. So we'll go over some of the tools right here. Is one, of the, one of the most comfortable tools on the market, the handle design, is an A1. This is like a neoprene rubber with a hard plastic on the tip. It is fantastic on far as comfort. Comfort. I think it's one of the most uh, comfortable handles out there. And the reason why you want a comfortable handle is because of fatigue. Uh, it could be. It could. It could cause you to have uh, sores on your hands, calluses, and for your wives out there, they probably don't appreciate that, uh, especially if you um, hold their hands a lot. So, I would definitely consider getting these this set this, now this set right here so now that i'm speaking of it this is a a very sharp tip not a super sharp but semi sharp and it's really strong it's really good for going uh through on aluminum panels maybe you're finishing maybe through the side but the comfortable how comfortable it is is just amazing really amazing now this design here i don't really care for it's just my opinion they're very good tools from dent craft but that handle is is just not as comfortable as not nearly as comfortable as this right here. Don't get me wrong; it's not it's not a knock on on their tools. It's just I read I just prefer that handle over that. Now, far is it's the same thing. It's kind of the same thing. Now here, this is more of a flat design. This is this is blim. Now they've had this handle for a while and when they came out with this handle it was they were like the first ones that really have like a soft grip handle um, kind of like a snap-on version of it and this is blim their hands are really good really good um, if your hands sweat a lot this is a great handle to use or if you're using wires uh, this it's kind of a thinner version i wish they had just a little thicker version and they do have um Another version I'm trying to look right here. They have an awesome handle, tool handle, that I will see if I can locate just by vision. This is very, very good handle to use. Okay, I think it's one of the top ones you could you could um, hold in your hand because when you're twisting all day long, especially the hail techs, they're twisting, they're twisting, they're twisting. It's it's going to put a, put a damper on your hands, and after a while, you're going to try to switch, and then you'll have to put a glove on, and that's just no fun, right there. Now, here over here, I have multiple, multiple different types of handles. And this is where I'm talking about custom tools. Now, this is actually an A1 tool, right? So I cut the handle off because I do like it. I like the kind of like the barrel feel of it. And then I had Ultra put a little semi-extension on it with a, you know, obviously a quick release so I can pop it in. This one from, from Dentcraft, now I have the ends um, sealed. And then I had it re-dipped, and I put just a quick release on the top. And it's probably one of the most comfortable. It's not too thin. It's, it's nice. And you guys, have, if you've had Dentcraft handles, then you, you know what I mean. So it's very comfortable. It's got that tube um, handle, and it's actually pretty dense, pretty nice and heavy. You don't want something too light either. You want to help you with the torque and the, and the pushes. Now, I've had this for a while. This is the small one, and then you see my grip that I put on. That's just basically, it is, um, it is, what do you call it? fishing pole grip. So you can get this on Amazon. Uh, I think it's called uh, X-Flock, and you can get that from right there. And as you can see, this one is the barrel handle one, and I put a rubber ball on the end of it because when I'm pushing, this is what makes it really comfortable is the ball it's, it's, it's comforting, it's like a pillow against the side of my hand right there. So when I'm pushing and torquing, I'm not, I'm not letting the, this edge dig into my, to my palm. It's, 
it's this is where my palm's going is, is on, right on the rubber ball. And that just screws in automatically. Now Ultra has a cover that you can slip on if you want to buy it this way. It's actually pretty comfortable. It's better than nothing, I'll tell you that. And it's, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Now this is the quick-release ratchet version. I only got one hand right now that I'm showing, but this is the quick-release ratchet. And this is what it looks like bare. And this, I don't really recommend this like this because it's, it's going to gouge your hands and make it much worse than what it is. Now, this one I call my lightsaber handle because I can, I can push it this way. I can do a twisting. This is custom made. Again, so I got the X-Flock on it. Super comfortable. And all I did was put some rope underneath it. And then I, um, I hot glued it to, to, to stay. And then I, I rolled it up. And I've had this for years. Okay, I've had all these tools I've done with this is for years because I, I have my grip. This is where I came up with it back in the day. And it works good. Now, occasionally, after a while, it will get a little loose, but I'm telling you, it's going to save your hand. It feels comfortable, very natural uh, when you do this. Now, my friend Daniel Grom came out with this, and at first I thought it was a gimmick. I thought he was doing it for, for, for kicks and giggles. But this is awesome because when you really want to torque on something, you can, you can use the edge right here on the, on the end of it, and you're, you are getting some crazy, crazy torque. Now, we use it on these... Um, on these handles, excuse me, these tools right here, which is the uh, the um, motorcycle tank tools, and they're a lot thicker, a lot thicker in in the diameters. But surprisingly, I don't use it just for that. I use it on all types of do uh, dents, especially if I'm doing a dent on a front fender. Um, I can really just torque down on how much pressure I need. Super cool, and they do sell this. So if you're interested in this one, uh, this is crazy. I think it's like uh, this has got to be like 14 inches or something like that. It's pretty, it's pretty large. So that's it. So, and if you want, if you like a certain handle, then and you have ultra stuff, then you might want to just have it cut off, put and then put one of these quick releases on, and you're good to go. So that's what I want to do next is do do that with with these. I'm going to take one of these off, cut it, and then put my own uh, quick release on it, and then I can use it for multiple different tools that I want. That's my goal is to change all my tools to just pop on and off. Um, I think that's about it as far as the handle wise. I, I think they're some of the most comfortable tools to use. So, um, so that's it. So if you guys have any suggestions or any other tool handles. Oh, there is one other one too. It's alligator. I don't have very many of their tools. This is given to me. Um, where is that tool? Oh, it's in here. Let me go in here. This is my all around tool drawer here. This one right here. Now, this might, I might cut this off. This has got a really, really grippy, grippy, super grippy handle. And then also, here's the blem. Here's one of the blems too, the blem um, barrel handle. Again, it's got the really nice grip to it. And it works, it works really, really good. So there you go. Uh, there's one other one, Blim, one I didn't show. I don't know where it's at. But anyways, I hope that's helpful to you. That way you can kind of get an idea of like uh, why, why you want to choose your handles wisely. Even though there's some good, good tools out there that have, that have more purpose than the handle, uh, why not change the handle? Because you can these days. So, All right, I hope that was helpful. You guys have a great week. Talk to you later.